Hi, we're in the AAFE Training Center this afternoon and we're getting ready to do Nora's Botox. Um, she is getting married at the end of next month, so we are about six weeks out and I actually think this is sort of the perfect time to get um, something like Botox or fillers prior to a big event. Um, that way it gives us plenty of time to ensure that you love the results. Um, if we need any sort of enhancements or tweaking, we have plenty of time to do that. Um, I happen to think my Botox looks perfect at six weeks um, and so I think this is really good timing for that. Um, so if you want to come on in and take a look at the treatment areas that we're doing for Nora, um, we do her horizontal forehead lines if you raise your eyebrows for us. So you can see here, she doesn't really have anything in terms of static creases, but she definitely has some muscle movement. Um, we will be treating her glabella, so these angry, angry 11s, the angry frown lines, you can see she has a deeper crease here that we'll really be targeting. And then we are going to do a little bit of a brow lift. If you look at her, you can appreciate she, her brow is actually higher on this side than this side. Um, we are still gonna lift a little bit over here, but our, we're gonna be giving her a bigger dose to try and match that, that arch so that she's a little more symmetric uh, from one side to the other. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with Nora's frontalis. I always like to work sort of top down when I'm treating my patients. Turn towards me a little bit, thank you. We're using safe injection technique here. Um, always important to deliver not only the best results for your patients, but also, um, you know, we're being mindful of safety and avoiding potential for complications. And with that, um, you know, good injection technique is really key here. So if you're interested in implementing these skills to your practice, you should definitely come to a level one Botox course where we can teach you all of these skills that you can offer for your patients to have them looking wedding, wedding ready too. We're gonna move down to the glabella. It's important to isolate this muscle here. And then in order to avoid any potential for complications over here, um, again, technique is sort of everything. The way you're holding your hands, your needle depth, uh, all of that is really, really important. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost done. Let's start with the brow lift on the lower brow. Can you close your eye tight for us? So watch as she closes her eyes tight. You can appreciate this depressing activity of the abicularis oculi, relax. So when a muscle wants to pull down and we relax it with neurotoxin, that is how we can get that brow lift. So that's sort of the idea behind it. And she's had those before. That's not a new treatment for her towards me. Close tight. Good, relax. Okay, lastly, I did forget to mention we are treating one other muscle, which is her LLSAN, the levator labii superioris aliquae nasi. So that is the muscle that's responsible for lifting the upper lip. So Nora, if you can make that face for us where you're, so watch as she sort of lifts her upper lip. Do you see this crease here forming underneath her nose? Um, we have found that she responds really nicely to just a really teeny tiny dose of neurotoxin in the muscle that's picking that upper lip up. So if you watch as I sort of pull that lip up, I can replicate that crease that she doesn't like. So if we relax that muscle from that hyperactivity, um, we don't produce that crease. Smile really big for me, good, relax. Again, good, relax. Again, good. So teeny, teeny, tiny dose, but just enough to just quiet some of that hyperactivity. And that's it. So We'll reevaluate her in two weeks once all that neurotoxin has taken effect, just to make sure she's happy with the results. If at that point we need any sort of enhancements, we can do so at that time. And then we have ample time before the wedding um, to make any enhancements that we might need.